Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashmel, Shai Bashmel, Kakudash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the hopeful elect brothers that are doing the work of the Lord, is preaching and prophesying um, in the name of Yahweh Bashmel, Shai. Now, the, the, the topic of this lesson is David. Salakia. King David was given the kingdom, but he still had to work for it. Right? David was given the kingdom, but the Most High didn't just switch it from from Saul to King David right away you know it had to go through a process of time things had to happen you know events had to take place for it to officially transfer from King Saul to King David a whole bunch of stuff happened drama happened right when he when you look in the book of uh, first and second Samuels <clears throat> but yeah <laughs> um David when he was anointed by the prophet Samuel you know he was a young shepherd you know attending to the sheep you know and um his brothers called him on to Samuel and then he was anointed but on um, Salaki and then then the spirit of the Lord, you know, came upon David, but he will, he didn't step, he didn't step into uh, 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 rulership right then and there. So it's the same thing with with us, Lord will, the elect the brothers that are sincerely doing the work of the Lord. Preaching the right doctrine, you know, in the name of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, and and has faith in Yahweh Bashem El Shai. That also, because works and faith go together. Because if you're doing all this work deceitfully, then the Most High knows that you're doing it deceitfully, and if you're not a part of the elect, He's just gonna make you an example and destroy you. He's gonna take salvation away from you so the elect was chosen you know from from before the foundation of the world but they still have to go through things to obtain the kingdom right let me get that one first starting with our lord and savior yahweh shai right it says let me highlight it. Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So when Yahweh comes back and delivers the elect from the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America, right? <clears throat> you know, the elect will have their bodies changed from mortal to immortal. We won't sin, so we won't die, so we'll be immortal and have a, a spiritual body, as in, well, let me say that again, we will be immortal, we'll have a spiritual powers like our Lord, brothers will be able to fly and all that, and we'll be joint heirs with the Lord, the Lord will take down the so-called white man, which is Esau, the nation of Edom, and the rest of the nations, he's going to take them out of rulership. He's going to destroy them. Who's not destroyed will be carted off into slavery, right? And that's going to be the kingdom of heaven, right? The children of Israel on top, and the other nations as servants on the bottom. The children of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom 
and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So it's not going to be like an era like like uh, you had the Babylonians reigned for a certain period of time. The Greeks had a certain period of time for their rulership. So did the Romans and then the Romans, you know, came back into power again in today's time because uh, the NATO and the EU, you know, that's the revived Roman Empire, right? And also America is Rome. You know, that's why you have so much Roman inf infra Roman and Greek uh, uh, infrastructure. Like when you go to Washington, Washington D.C., that's that, that's our Roman infrastructure, right? You know, each each empire, each uh, major uh, kingdom had their time, but it was a limit set on it. But Yahweh Shai's kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, and with the elect as joint heirs, we we won't have a time limit on our kingdom. It says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So eternity is going to be no end to the Lord's kingdom. Like, that's it. That's it. Like, it's not going to be from here to here. And that's no, no, it's going to be forever, forever and ever and ever. No stop, no end, no end whatsoever, right? Now, let me go to another scripture. This is, um, Isaiah 45 in verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So, so Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. So when the elect of Israel is saved and, and you know, Yahweh Shai starts his kingdom, it's going to be everlasting. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. World without end. That's the key right there. Without end. So we got that. We got that figured out. So. Yahweh Shai. You know. His kingdom. The kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> will be a world without end after this captivity there's going to be no more slavery for you negroes latinos and native americans that's it <clears throat> but we still have to work for it the, the elect is given the kingdom but they still have to work and endure to the end we still have to go through hell you have to go through all the hell that's coming to this place before before the mo most high sets fire on it and destroys it by destroys it by using thermonuclear missiles from the other side of the world you know mainly from russia you know the, the elect is going to get beamed up but it, it, it's work right uh endure and this is matthew chapter 24 verse 13 but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved so if you endure unto the end if you have faith unto the very end if, if you um if you don't forsake the lord you know some brothers will be martyrs some brothers will die for the name of the lord you know, and especially do not take the MOTB, right? He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. 
and that same is the elect. <clears throat> now let's go back to Salakia. Second Samuel in Second Samuel chapter three verse ten. Three verse nine. So, so do the Most High to Abner, and more also, except as the Lord hath sworn to David, even so I do to him, to translate the kingdom from the house of Saul, and to set up the throne of David over Israel and over Judah, from Dan even to Beersheba. So, so the Most High uh, tr 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 transferred the k k k k k k kingdom from the house of Saul to the house of David, right? And set up the throne of David over all Israel, northern and southern kingdom over all Israel, right? So David was was said to be the true king of Israel you know forever you know from from the beginning because David is going to be ruling right under Yahweh Shai as the king of Israel in in the kingdom of heaven you know his lot remains the same you know, from back then, even until now, even until the future in the kingdom of heaven. He's, he, he, he is the king over Israel, no matter what. He is a king. Right? But, <clears throat> let me go to uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 8. 15, verse 28. And Samuel said unto him, The Lord hath rent the kingdom of Israel from thee this day, and hath given it to a neighbor of thine that is better than thou. Also the strength of Israel will not lie nor repent, for he is not a man that he should repent. So that's talking about the Most High. The Most High is not a liar. He is not a man that he should he, he should lie or repent you know repent means to take back your word so 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 the most high took 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 the kingdom of israel from saul and he gave it to david now Let me go to Let me go to First Samuel chapter sixteen. In verse 1 And the Lord said unto Samuel How long Will thou mourn over Saul Because Samuel is mourning over Saul Because he knew, he knew what was to come Seeing I have rejected him From reigning over Israel Fill thine horn with oil And go I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehemite for I have provided me a king among his sons. And that king is is um it is David, right? Now Verse 7, 
But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his on his look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Yet you're the Most High look on your heart, meaning your mind, and also goes into the spirit. Right? Because uh, Jesse had, you know, other sons that was Olin and David, and they were big, brolic, tall, you know, look, you know, very manly, masculine. So David was like, surely this is him. Surely this is him. But the Lord was like, nah, that's not him. All right. This is verse 10. Again, Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, the Lord hath not chosen these. And Samuel said unto Jesse, are, are here all thy children and he said there remaineth yet the youngest and be and behold he keepeth the sheep and samuel said unto jesse send and fetch him for we will not sit down till he come hither and he sent and brought him in now he was ruddy and with all of a beautiful countenance he was uh david was very uh handsome right and at the time here, he's young and goodly to look at. You know, he's, he's handsome. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose and went to Ramah. So from Samuel, from the prophet Samuel anointed David right then and there, the spirit of the Lord came upon him and it remained, right? It, it remained on him. But the spirit of the, but the spirit of the Lord departed from Samuel, uh, from Saul, Salakia. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. So the Most High took his spirit from Saul and put demons on him, put evil spirits on him. So that was the trans for right there. That's where it began. That's where the uh, 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 translation of the kingdom of Israel from Saul to David. No, this is the start of it, right? But it didn't stop here like the process didn't stop here like david just didn't go to saul and you know take over no like things had to happen he that shall endure to the end the same shall be saved right the, the elect was chosen from before the foundation of the world but we still have to fight fight to make it to the kingdom <clears throat> now this is 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 10. It says, Wherefore, brethren, wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never f fall. So give diligence right to make a calling and election sure so the lord uh, uh calls you but you don't know if you're chosen until the very end until you get beamed up to get beamed up into the ships and saved from nuclear destruction right but it says give diligence let me look up the word diligence Diligence, careful and persistent work or effort. So, consistent or careful and persistent 
you know, work or effort, which means you just keep on going. You're, you're, you're uh, uh, working, you're putting effort into something always, right? That's a diligence mean. So you have to work and show forth effort with faith to make your calling and election sure. And you have to always, it, it's an ongoing thing until salvation. So there's never an off day with the Lord. There's never a day where, where, where the Lord gives you a day off. Where like, okay, you can stop being an Israelite for today and do whatever the hell you want. You know, or you 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 could you could forget to do my work for a month and then and then and then you know come back to doing the work. You know, there's no there's no time off when you're dealing with the Lord. You know, the Lord shows mercy because we get weak in the flesh. You know, the f spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. But that's still no excuse. You have to always repent and pray to the Lord for faith. You know, that's one thing. Pray for faith. Now, 1 John 3 and 18. 1 John 3 and 18 says, My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. So don't just say you love the Most High and not do His work. It says, but in deed and in truth. So, show your love by your faith and your work, which is being diligent in the work of the Lord. Doing your lessons, doing, do, doing your lessons, right? Going out on the highways and byways, uh, studying to show thyself approved. You know, increasing your your, uh, your 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 knowledge and your understanding of your faith, right? And then the Lord will salaka so increase your knowledge and and your wisdom understanding, right? Because when you show forth effort and diligence. Then the Lord will show that will see that you're trying, and He will give you more understanding and more faith. And when you get understanding, um, when you when you when you gain understanding from being put through something, then you gain wisdom. So that's where wisdom comes from, right? So if you be diligent in in, in the work the Lord is going to increase you spiritually <clears throat> now the next scripture is is Colossians chapter 3 verse 22 this is Colossians chapter 3 verse 22 it says Servants, obeying all things, your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing the Most High. So, don't only show diligence when you're being looked at. Not only when brothers are around or or when the elders are around. You know, you're you're pretending like you're doing something. You know, pretending like you're doing a whole lot of work, but always because the angels are always, angels are all are always watching, right? And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily. You do it with all your mind, all your heart, as the Lord, and not unto men. So, do your work unto the Most High, so the Most High can see you, because brothers are not always around you. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for for ye serve the Lord Yahweh Shai. 
But he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. So the Most High is not a respect of persons. He don't care who you are, right? If you do right by the Lord, you're going to receive right. If you do wrong, you're going to receive wrong. And this is... Damn. Salakia. This is Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4. <clears throat> this is the last, it's the last scripture. Uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love so that he is Yahweh Bashem Shai, right so the most high chose chose us from before the foundation of the world to be a part of the elect you know to be with Yahweh Shai so this was set up in the spirit from before the world, from from before the foundation of the world, but the elect, um, uh, has to work towards that towards that reward, even though it was set up for them to obtain salvation and eternal life, anyways, right? Having predestinated. When you're predestined, let, let me look up the other word. Predestined. Predestination. The divine. Predestinated. Predestinate of the Most High, destine someone for a particular fate or purpose, right? Determine an outcome or course of events in advance by divine will or fate. So, so, so the Most High, uh, chose or set up our faith from before from set up our fate from before the foundation of the world so no matter so no matter what happens this will be your outcome or or this will be your outcome so you're either predestined to be a part of the elect or a part of the two thirds having predestined having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai to himself, yeah, because the Most High sent in sundown Yahweh Shai to be a sacrifice for us, for the nation of Israel, but the elect first to to adopt us back unto himself. But that happened through Yahweh Shai. According to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of of his grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved so so we were accept were made accepted back unto the lord through yahweh shai so so the lord so yahweh shai is everything yahweh shai is everything to us so we 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 praise yahweh shai and we worship yahweh shai and we we worship the Most High also, right? Most High comes first, then Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, Baha Hashem, in the name of Yahweh Shai, right? So, the elect was predestinated to be the elect. So, no matter what happens, if you're part, if you're part of the elect, you're gonna be delivered. But if you're part of the two thirds, even if you're in the truth, you're gonna fall out. 
and be destroyed, right? And and that's the end of the lesson. Um, David was given a kingdom, but he still had to work for it. Just how just as how brothers, if 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 they're part of the elect, you know, if you're part of the elect, you're gonna receive the reward of the kingdom. You're gonna receive salvation, but you still have to work for it. You still have to go through hell. You know, you still have to make it and endure until the very end to be saved. Uh, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, Hashem uh, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.